Now, as promised, we're going to share Peg and Dad's lesson about April's full moon. Do you know what it's called this month? Well, you're about to. Let's see just what Peg and Dad has to say. Merry meet. Peg and Dad here again, uh, joining you here in the month of April to, to talk about the full moon and because I'm a friend of Rupert. Uh, as before, we've talked about the moon, and a lot of that has to do with what the moon looks like. Um, but this month is different. So don't run out and check if the moon is pink, because this moon mostly is mostly known as the pink moon. And it's because of all the flowers that are blooming at this time of the year, kind of that reminder, yes, spring had come, you know, there at Ostara, and we're supposed to be moving into the warmer weather, and spring is supposed to be here, and now the flowers are coming more and more and more, especially further north, uh, down here in Florida, we've been at spring for a little while. Um, so, while these flowers are here, you know, they provide food for the bees and the hummingbirds. I'm sure there's other animals that, you know, rely upon the, the flowers that are everywhere. But it's also kind of a reminder and a lesson from the gods that even the, the quietest of plants and, and the plants that you look at and go, so it's green, that's it's, it's all it's got. But then, you just have to wait on it to bloom. And it, it blooms and turns into these beautiful things. Just, just like people, people, right? So, spend some time this next month, between now and the next moon. Keep an eye out for the beauty of the, in, in nature, but and also in the people around us. So until next time, blessed be.